Hey guys, it's Shazad here. Today I am going to do a prediction on the Premier League 2016 to 2017 Premier League finish. So where I think everyone's going to finish in the season. If I'm not looking towards the camera, it's because I've got my phone here and I've been working on the table for about 20 minutes now because it's pretty hard to figure out who's going to finish where to be quite honest. So I'm going to start off from the bottom, from the relegation zone. Um, 20th, I think Burnley. I, think, I don't think they're going to do well against the top teams and some of the middle teams, you know, average teams. I just don't think they've got anything about them. I don't think they're going to do well at all, to be quite honest. 19th, Middlesbrough. Same thing, really. 18th, West Brom. I've just got a feeling that they're going to go down this year. Um, 17th Hull. Depending on what manager they've got, to be fair, I don't know if they've got a manager yet, but I haven't heard anything about it. I think they'll finish 7th, possibly higher, if they get a decent manager in, because I've heard, what was it, Chris Coleman from um, Wales to come in, which I think would be, you know, re really good manager for them to say what he did for Wales <clears throat> then 16th Watford I've not really got anything to say about them 15th Sunderland I think that they're gonna finish higher because of David Moyes yeah David Moyes has done shit for Man United and stuff I support Man United myself but what he did for Everton I believe they'll finish higher than where they've finished in the last couple of seasons I think they might still be fighting for relegation in the last three or four weeks well three or four games and then they'll probably get past it 14th Crystal Palace got really not to say about them 13th Stoke Stoke's a decent team I mean I love Jack Butland he's such a good goalkeeper and they can beat some of the top some of the top teams I mean they have before but they're they're an average side really out there. Twelfth Bournemouth, I think. I think they're gonna finish higher. I can't remember where they finished to be honest last season. I'm guessing it was fourteenth, fifteenth. I think they're gonna finish a little bit higher this season. They might struggle get some of the top teams, but most teams will. Eleventh Southampton. Got no really to say about them. Tenth Swansea. I would have put them a couple of things lower. But they've just bought a striker, I can't remember what he's called, Lorente or something. I think he's a decent striker, he'll get, he'll get him a couple of goals this season. And it, it'll help him push up a bit. Ah, oh, fuck, I've put two two teams here the same. Ninth, I think Everton. I think if they lose, is it Lukaku, they'll, they'll drop, they'll drop anyway. And also with losing John Stones to Man City. That won't help anything, either. <clears throat> Eighth, West Ham, with Payet. I think they're, you know, they're going to be in top eight. And with the new stadium as well, I think that's going to give them a bit of a push. Seventh, well, to be fair, top seven. I was, I, I can't really predict what's going to be where. I mean, it could, they could finish anywhere. If I'm quite honest. Seventh, I picked Leicester, last season's winners. Um, with losing Kante, but they have got a replacement. I think they'll finish seventh, but don't get me wrong, I mean, they could finish higher. I really don't know. Um, sixth, I've put Chelsea. Yes, they've got a new manager, but I'm just going off last year as well because of course they didn't do that well last year so I'm going to put them 6th again they could finish higher, they could finish lower you never know with this with this um, division 5th Tottenham I really don't know, I mean it depends on Harry Kane how he performs this season just again I don't know 4th Liverpool <clears throat> Again, I don't know, but 
they did beat Barcelona 4 0, but it was a friendly. So again, you don't know. I think they might have been differing about putting them in the top four, or if you should swap them with Chelsea. That's why it took me 20 minutes to fucking finish it. Third, Arsenal. I think out of all of the top seven, Arsenal's probably the most stable, but I don't think they'll win it. They've had Arsene Wenger for a long time. They've always managed to get into the top four. I just don't think they've got it, got the balls to win it. Second, Man United. Manchester United. Again, I'm not too sure I'm a Man United fan myself, so of course I'm going to put them higher than I should do anyway, really, than most people will. But with buying Ibrahimovic and Pogba, I don't know if they're going to be going to make his push to um, win the title or fight for it. This season's going to be an amazing season, and you just don't know who's going to finish where. To be quite honest, then first Man City, Pep Guardiola, such a good manager, and I mean they've bought some ta really talented players. Again, the top seven can finish anywhere in the top seven. I mean, they might even shock us and finish 8th, ninth. You really don't know. It's such an unpredictable season. Especially before games even been played. I mean, of course, Man United played Leicester. But that means there's nothing. I mean, fucking David Moyes won't community shield, for God's sake. You just don't know, do you? But yeah, that's my prediction. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment on your predictions and please like, share and that's it. Um, see ya.